Oh, that's what I'm saying. It wouldn't be, but they would be forewarned and they'd still screw the. Mr. Yeah, I, I hope they're all watching. Th this, Mr. DeVito? This is, a not, this is not about the county. This is about the city of Eureka Springs, and this is about our future. And we have an opportunity like we've never had before because of what our transit administrator has done such a great job to allow this to occur. And we probably wouldn't be having this discussion if we didn't have the new transit facility at the top of Planer Hill to move some of their office down there. So, I mean, the fact that our lease is coming up in a month, the fact that we've put it, been put in a position to where this idea has come forth, and I give the mayor great credit for that. And I'll be sorry, no offense, Morris, but I'll, I'll be sorry that, that she's leaving because uh, these opportunities have been because of her and her foresight and the thought that she's put into this. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm all ready to do it tonight, but uh, it maybe, you know, there's something I'm not aware of. But uh, I, I hope that the incoming mayor uh, understands the sentiments of this council that, uh, other than Ms. Blankenship, I think we're all on board that this is a good idea whose time is necessary and that we have the opportunity. We will not have this opportunity again because the lease is coming up, because we do have these facilities. If we don't move, something else is going to happen. Um, this is about us. Uh, the county has given us the opportunity to decide our own fate. I think the future looks good because we have the ability to make this decision. And I applaud all the effort and foresight that's gone into this, and uh, I am willing to leave it to the new administration, but uh, I, I'd like the incoming mayor to understand the sediments of the outgoing council that we seem to be on board with this idea. If I may make a comment, as your, as your mayor elect and your JP for the county. You need to come Morris, up. you need to come up here. Oh, come up here. <laughs> Quit hiding in the corner. It used to be on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> But as your mayor-elect and your current incumbent JP for the county, uh, I've been in the middle of this with Mayor Dana. Um, I am definitely not in favor of paying the county any more money. I made that very clear at the, at the JP table. And also, um, I am about to take over responsibility of the city, and that will be my primary goal, is to make sure that this city prospers, uh, that we're doing what's best for the city and our constituents, uh, even though there are going to be some people that, don't want to see how to move because it's going to be inconvenient for them, but that's just what we just have to deal with. Um, and that's pretty much what I got to say. Why can't we vote tonight? Well, there's contractual issues. We'll get to vote. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you still have the city has to give a 90 day notice on the space downstairs. Even though the county didn't do that on the parking lot, the, the city is obligated under our contract to give them a 90-day notice. It's going to take a while to move everything if that's what the city decides to do. And let me make it really clear, um, I appreciate the vote of confidence. If it were me, honestly, I love this building. It's historic. The city hall has always been in this building and I really don't want to see it move because of the history of it and because I believe that this is the first step that's going to give them the opportunity to try to close this courthouse and I don't want to see that happen. But I don't think that we have a whole lot of choice. The county's got our back against the wall, and from what I can see, they really don't care. And if they dump the city with the cost of repairing the underground under that parking lot, which is what they're trying to do, we cannot afford that. There's no way. And I hope that we get that grant that we applied for with FEMA, but I don't feel very confident about it. Ms. Schneider? Well, there's also that little teeny minor tickly detail that the parking meters were put a vote to a vote of the people and they said we're keeping the meters and now the quorum court has decided what they can't keep the meters it's not county property it's city property so they so, okay let's put this so they are very willingly telling the public screw you we don't care what you think well, okay. they'd be getting the money. I know they Why hated Eureka. Ms. Blankenship. Because they're envious. <laughs> <laughs> but that's Okay, stupid. if there's not any other <laughs> comments at this table about that, we'll move on to number six, and that's the discussion of the city 
Clerk, uh, Treasurer's Retirement. I need a motion to discuss. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay. Um, under Arkansas law, according to an AG's opinion when Mark Pryor was the AG, the city clerk, um, it says, will have retirement. The way that it's listed, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that it's 10 years vested. Mary Jean has eight years sitting as our city clerk. She also served as a deputy clerk. They have copies of the state statute. There you go. <laughs> And it also in the 2412-122, it's provided a retirement for deputy city clerks as well. So, okay. So, what do we need to be doing here? Need to vote to either approve it or not. Mr. Bremer. Um. It says may apply all years served in that previous capacity towards the accrual of the vesting period provided in the subsection. So it would be her salary over eight years. And then the salary is based on the current year salary. Mm -hmm. So, but isn't retirement a portion or is it the entirety of your? It's stated right there. Yes, yeah, so one half. I didn't see that, sorry. Read up here too. Oh, sorry. I just read the Not highlights. just the highlighted part. <laughs> Ms. Blankenship. This law says that deputy clerks have to serve 20 years who have attained the age of 65. City clerks or clerk treasurers have to serve not less than 10 years upon reaching age 60 or 20 years without regard to age. Those are just givens. If that had happened, either one of those scenarios then our city clerk treasurer would get half of her salary that she makes now for the rest of her life. However, neither one of those scenarios actually took place. She has only worked eight years as city clerk treasurer. However, there's a provision in this law that says if she has served in another capacity for the same city, that this council table may add in those years of service so that she can make those 10 years. And I would think that that would be a fine and dandy thing if that was continual years, if she had been serving with the city for two years before she got elected city clerk treasurer. But the truth of it is she was hired in 89 and terminated in 95. Then there was a long time from 95 till 2002 before she was elected city clerk treasurer. <coughs> so what she's asking us to do is go back to 89 to 95 and add that to her years of service so that she can get the retirement. And we have to do everything not personally. We have to do what's best for the city and not what's best for a person. Is this in the best interest of the city or not? Ms. Schneider? Okay, I'm gonna bite the bullet here. Okay, so MJ's um, 13 plus years as a city employee it's kind of like your six years that you used in your campaign, which was actually two sets of two years each, which came to four years, not six. There's a little thing there in the middle. I don't see that there should be any difference um, whether the five plus the eight was consecutive or not. It was the same job. It was because of that five years as the deputy, during which time I personally know she actually did most of the work. Um, that has made her the great city clerk that she is, good enough that the city wanted her to be. So I don't think it's a matter of what's best for the city, it's what's fair to our employees. Um, 
the city has benefited for 13 years by having MJ working for us. The, what's good for the city has nothing to do with this. This is the law. This is what she's earned. And it seems to me, according to reading to this, this is what she should get. How old is MJ? Are you 60? MJ is 64. Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't quite have to ask. Just in the third person. <laughs> Just blurt it out. Okay. Okay, so that's, that's not a problem. Okay, she is 60. Okay. Really, considering the length of time that she has served the city, I, I can't quibble over two years. I really can't. I mean, she's, done, she's served a long time, and the work that she has done as city clerk probably is worth <laughs> a lot more than eight years. <laughs> no, I don't have a problem with this at all. Ms. Blankenship. Just so you know, as an accountant, it's 